Good morning, everyone. This is Paul Zachary Shelton of Warwick Shore Advisors. I wanted to take a quick moment to speak with you about the coronavirus and about how this market volatility that we're seeing as a result of the virus is affecting um, your portfolio. Stay tuned. We're going to discuss that next. As of now, there are approximately three dozen countries that have reported cases of the coronavirus. Um, recently, as of this week, the United States reported its first case in California. So as the hysteria and the, the volatility continues to, to ensue around the coronavirus and completely understanding how it's spreading and how to possibly combat the spread of the virus, um, the markets will continue to see heightened volatility. Now will this lead us to a recession, something that we discussed several times before? Not sure if it will do that, but the possibilities are there. Currently we're approximately 12% off market highs on the S&P and the Dow. So when we're in market environments like this where we have a significant market sell-off, what are some of the things that we can do to help mitigate some of the fear that we have in our own investment portfolios? And how can we position ourselves in our portfolios to withstand any additional market volatility? One of the first things that I suggest that you do is you check your cash reserves and make sure your asset allocation, as it refers to your cash position, meets your short-term liquidity goals. The second thing that I always advise is to take times like this or conditions like this in the market where we're seeing a depression in stock prices to rebalance your portfolio. This is a great time to go through and make sure that your long-term asset allocation and your short-term asset allocation continue to meet your goals for your retirement. The third thing that is very essential in times like this where we have a significant drawdown in the market is to look at the silver lining that is possibly out there. Whenever we have significant pullbacks like this, we can go through our portfolios and identify any positions, any stocks that are potentially significantly depressed and sell those and realize the losses. Now you can use up to $3,000 of portfolio losses in, a, in a, any given year to defray taxable income or defray other gains that you have in other areas of your portfolio. The last thing that I always suggest is to find balance, to have a time in your life where you can step away from all the volatility, step away from the noise that is going on behind you and go do the things that you really enjoy doing. Um, whether that's reading a book, riding a bike, playing an instrument, take time to really find that balance in your life before you get back to the chaos. As always, if you have any questions about your retirement, about investment management, or any financial planning questions, please reach out to me directly. You can contact us at investments at warwickshore.com.